guys, HTV here, and welcome back to a brand new video going over Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're going to be going over the Ben Affleck leak because there's actually been 12 Pokemon in this leak that have not actually been confirmed yet, but will be in Pokemon Sword and Shield just because this leak is pretty much 110% true. So we're going to go over all the Pokemon that we will be seeing in Pokemon Sword and Shield that just have not been revealed in trailers yet. So if you're excited for the video, please do consider hitting that like button down below. If we're going to hit 500 likes in today's video, that'd be insane. Make sure to leave a comment which out of these 12 Pokemon are you most excited to see. And of course, subscribe as well if you're brand new. We do daily Pokemon content on this here channel. With all of that out of the way though, guys, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So straight off the bat, if you don't know what this is, this is the Ben Affleck leak, which basically came out in May. And everything that this person has put on this leak so far has come true, even down to this little detail here that BD gets an endorsement from Chairman Rose and his secretary Elena, which was just shown in the last trailer at the point of making this video when we got introduced into BD and Marnie. It did get um, put on the website that BD does get an endorsement from Chairman Rose and his secretary Elena. So getting it down to that, like even those small points, everything in this is 110% true. As well as that, he got so many other things right, like Dynamaxing, Gigantamaxing, the wild area, the transit system, um, camping. There's so many people's names like Hop and Sonya and Marnie. Everything is 110% true. Even Team Yelly got right. So all of this is 110% true. But there's a lot of Pokemon seen in this. I think it's about 12 if I counted right. There might be a few more. I'm not sure. We'll see. Um, but yeah, there's actually a bunch of Pokemon in this that have not been shown yet that are going to be in the game just because he's got everything right so far. So first off the bat, we do have Eternatus. Eternatus is the third evil legendary, which just has not been shown yet. Um, so that is the first Pokemon that is going to be in the games but just has not been confirmed yet basically um so Ethan Artis is the apparent third evil legendary and then obviously the other legendary will be a wolf who will have a, either a shield made or hold a sword like great wolf sift don't recall his name which were both obviously confirmed to be Zacian and Zamazenta got that 110 percent right so Ethan Artis is the third evil legendary that is the first pokemon that has yet to be confirmed but will definitely be in the game because this leak is 110 percent true pokemon number two is the dynamax form of meowth so it does get, this is where it basically talks about Dynamax and Gigantamaxing. New Dynamics that will supersize with uh, Pokemon in specific areas. Gigantamaxing is different from Dynamax as it changes what the Pokemon looks like. Now this was all said in May before we even know what Dynamaxing was. So we got everything 100 times so far on. So then he goes and say Meowth looks like a long cat. So Meowth is getting a Gigantamax form. Now this also confirms that any Pokemon can get a Gigantamax form. Not only fully evolved Pokemon, but any Pokemon too. So that is a brand new Pokemon that obviously... Hasn't been confirmed yet, but we'll be seeing some Meowth Gigantamax version. So that's two Pokemon so far. Next up, we get Lapras, who is also going to be a Gigantamax Pokemon. Lapras gets layers like musical bars to its shell and musical notes. So that's Pokemon number three. Lapras is also getting a Gigantamax form. Don't know if this is going to be a Galarian for Lapras or just a normal Lapras, but either way, Lapras is getting a Gigantamax form. Then it says Pikachu looks like a retro fat Pikachu. This is the fourth Pokemon that have not yet been confirmed, but will be in the game. So we got three Gigantamax Mons there and then Eternatus. You can kind of, I guess you could kind of count the Gigantamax Pokemon aren't new Pokemon, but they kind of are because, you know, they are new form technically. So it's, it's whether you consider a form a new Pokemon or not. And I kind of do. Like you'd consider Rotom forms different Pokemon because they've got different typings and stuff. And these are going to have different typings. Like when the Gigantamax, they, they can change typings. So... No, no, I just I would say the new Pokemon. So that's anyway, that's four. Next up, we got Sonya as Leon's former rival, who's researching Dynamax. So nothing about that. Um, shows new Pokemon, but he got that spot on as well. Then we have some Pokemon like Farfetch will get regional evolutions like Surfetch. So Pokemon number five is Surfetched, basically Galarian um, Farfetch evolution. And obviously, we know this is true now because Lanoon did just evolve into Obstagoon, which is a regional evolution. He did say some Pokemon, like Farfetch'd, will get regional evolutions, one of those being Obstagoon. But I'm sure there's going to be a lot more because he says some Pokemon, like Farfetch'd. I'm sure there's a bunch more that will be getting evolutions. So Surfetch'd is a brand new Pokemon coming into the game, and that was number five. And then we have Meowth looks like a ball of spiky grey force at first. So number six is Galarian Meowth, which means we're probably going to get Galarian Persian, but I'm not going to say that is a new Pokemon because it's not confirmed. Uh, but Meowth is Pokemon number Number six, which is a brand new Pokemon, and it's uh, Glarian Meowth. So maybe it does mean Gla uh, Glarian Persian is going to be a thing, but we'll, we'll just wait and uh, wait and see. Anyway, that was what eight? I don't know. I'm miscounting. Then we got nine, ten, which is greed, and I think there's like thirteen actually. Wait, hang on. Let me double check because I think I got that wrong. Wait, one, two, three, four, uh, five, six. Okay, 
Yeah, and then Squover, no, Squover and Greedon are 7 and 8. Okay, so Squover and Greedon, um, if I remember correctly, are chipmunk Pokemon who will hide in berry trees and attack randomly if you shake for too many uh, berries. If they attack, you lose half the berries they drop. So, um, we do know that shaking berry trees is in Pokemon Sword and Shield. We saw it in a trailer. So, Squover and Greedon are basically going to be in those trees and they're going to jump down if they're like, hey, what are you stealing my berries for? So, Squover and Greedon, yet to be confirmed, but 110% going to be in the game because he got even the berry shaking trees right. So, that's 6 and... That's seven and eight. So we've got eight new Pokemon there so far, and we're not even like halfway through this yet. Um, so then he goes on about the gym leaders and stuff. Uh, I don't think there's any new Pokemon here. The fourth gym is the first fairy type gym, led by an actress named Opal. Milo, Nesta, and Kabut were the first ones. And then he said Milo has you herding sheep Pokemon named Wooloo. Got that right before Wooloo was even confirmed. But Pamper, Electric Hawk Pokemon, um, he meant to say Yamper instead of Pamper. We'll start with them and send them rolling elsewhere. So you got Yamper right. Uh, Nesta says you're running for a maze. That is literally the demo um, that everyone saw at like E3 and stuff. Then Cabra requires you to catch Pokemon to get five points, but you have to be in a party battle with another trainer who's already also trying to catch it. Um, so, we have eight Pokemon so far. That's just um, some random gym leader stuff. Next up, we do have, while well, there is a transit system, you have to go through the wild area at times. So open world biome, who has a weather system and little pockets, um, and Dynamax and have to be beaten in four person raids. So you got all that right. Um, then obviously, uh, going up to randomly players and getting the items and whatever you got that right camping is how you play with pokemon now you'll get toys a feather toy and a toy pokeball which will raise friendship you can make cory which will raise stats and friendliness pokemon will not walk beside you in the overworld and then this is where more pokemon come up so number nine is raboot which is the evolution of score bunny and then i guess this is technically number 10 but we don't know the name of it so i'm only gonna, kind of counting them if we have a name and stuff um, but Raboot is um, the second evolution of Scorbunny. So that's really cool. Another Pokemon that's number 9. Number 10 and 11, we have Sizzile and Inteleon. So Sizzile and Inteleon are the evolutions of Sobble. Sizzile and Inteleon um, sound really, really cool. I think Inteleon's a really cool name for a Pokemon. Um, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what they look like. Especially because I want them to be Water Ghosts. Now I don't know if they're going to be. Nobody knows if they're going to be. What types are they going to be? Because he doesn't say here. Uh, it just says it's a chameleon with a spy theme. So, could be a ghost type, could easily be like water dark or anything. Really could be anything. Um, and then it does go on to say that, but I don't remember the final evolution except that it looks like a fighter, it looks humanoid. So, uh, Rabu is going to evolve into a humanoid looking Pokemon, basically. So, um, kind of interesting if you like humanoid Pokemon. Scorbunny is probably the one for you. And then it just says Grookey will end up as a giant gorilla and beats a wood drum to attack. So, no name there, no typing, stuff like that. Um, but obviously Scorbunny here says we'll have fighting moves, but it's a pure fighter. I think that me means it is pure fire. I don't think he meant to put fighter there. Um, but yeah, that's very interesting. So that's, what, 11 Pokemon now? With, uh, Sobble, with Sizzle and Teleon, I'm pretty sure. Wait, 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 let me just double check. One, because I want to get this right. One, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, uh... Um, 9, 10, 11. Okay, yes, that's 11. And then the last Pokemon, number 12. I guess you could count more. I guess you could count, like, Grookey's evolution. And you could count Scorbunny's evolution. But we don't really know anything about those. Um, but the last Pokemon is... The best Pokemon so far is the Blue Seagull. Who, when it dives, either gets a Barracuda in its mouth. Or a Pikachu when it launches its enemy. I guess you could... I guess I'm, I'm, I'm kind of going back on myself here. Saying, oh, they don't have names. So you can't really count them. But this thing doesn't either. It just has a lot of interest information about it. So I guess we could say 14 Pokemon. Um, but I'm just going to stick it at 12. Um, but yeah, the best Pokemon so far is the Blue Seagull, who when it dives, either gets a Barracuda, which I guess is another new Pokemon, in its mouth, or a Pikachu, which it launches at its enemy. So I'm really looking forward to seeing that Pokemon. I feel like that that might be the Pokemon on like the endorsement stuff on Leon's cape, because he does have a big kind of um, Blue Seagull bird thing on an endorsement badge. So that could definitely be that. I, I, wouldn't, I, I wouldn't see why. Um, but yeah, that's basically um, everything for this video. I just I, I was just looking at the Affleck leak the other day, which is when I say the Ben Affleck leak, this is the one I mean, just because it's got a picture of Ben Affleck for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, that's what I mean when I when I reference that. But I was just looking at it the other day, I was like, there's so many Pokemon on here that just haven't been confirmed yet. So I did want to make a video talking about all of them um, because yeah, dude, they, they haven't been confirmed yet, and they're 110% true coming because. He's just got everything right so far. He's got names of everything right. He's got the big features in the game. He's got uh, the evil team. He's got so much right. So I'm just going to go out on a whim and say this is 110% true. Um, which a lot of people pretty much have just taken this as fact now anyway. Just because of how much he has got right. But I really hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please do consider hitting that like button down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. Make sure to leave a comment down below as well. Which is your favorite new Pokemon that I did just mention in this video. Mine would probably be... 
Probably Inteleon so far, just from hearing the, the name and stuff. I either Inteleon or the Gigantamax Lapras. I would love to see what those are. Um, but yeah, subscribe as well if you're brand new. Ring the notification bell. That's everything from me. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.